All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, today, our topic, as you see in the screen, the title is Israel is prepared to kill more unarmed, innocent protesters in Gaza. Uh, this title is not my title. I'm just reading for you an article written by a guy, his name Robert uh, McKee, or McKee. Uh, I'll show you in the screen the article. Israel prepared to kill more unarmed protesters in Gaza. Israel army expect up to 50,000 Palestinians to attend the protest in Gaza on Friday and is prepared once again use deadly force against unarmed demonstrators. One week after Israel's sniper fired at least 650 bullets at Palestinian civilian killing 15. I mean, how disgusting, ugly those Israeli. I want to know if this guy have a phone number so we can maybe interview him and see what kind of a donkey he is. Let me see who is this idiot. Hmm. Robert McKee writes about national and international news through the person of uh, social media before joining blah 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 the senior writer now let us let us show you what kind of a filthy stupid this idiot is you know we have a lot of a trashy people like this in the west who they speak from their ass not from their mouth and the reason i say that because you know excuse my language some people they see the word from a small hole and I'm sure what kind of hole he is looking at the water from. This guy, he been told that the Israeli, the ugly Israeli, are shooting decent, <clears throat> nice civilians. I mean, how dare you? First of all, you idiot. Those are the members of Hamas. And all what they do now, they change their clothes. So they are coming in a civilian clothes. Number two. Who in the world told you that it's okay to attack the borders of other countries in the name of a pro, pro, to make a protest straight against them. This is the borders of Israel, you filthy idiot. This is not the protesters are standing in their land. They are coming. They want to invade Israel. What about we have 50,000 unarmed from ISIS and they want to enter USA borders? What we should do for them? <clears throat> Give them cookies? <clears throat> the whole idea the whole idea behind this is to do what is happening exactly to get a bunch of you know idiots from the left-minded people in the west to bark and to bite israel do you see what the israeli are doing they are killing civilian none of those is a civilian secondly you know that if you pass this border that is a red line why you do it so you do it in purpose so they will shoot at you and then you cry and you play a victim what if now in the front of your house there is 10 civilian they want to enter upon your house they are civilian they decide to make a protest uh, to prostrate in your in your bedroom what you do do you call the police and they, you ha they have to use an, a, a, a force with them and violence to stop them from coming and arrest them? What if I now, I am an Arab, me, myself, I'm an Arab. I'm going to bring some of my family, which is more than 500, 600,000 people, huh? some of them, not all of them, huh? to come to your house. And we are going to be unarmed. And we will enter into your city and into your town and we will take over it as a civilian. So what do you do? You idiot, this is different country. Those people have a, have a borders. St 
stupidity is amazing and look they are blaming uh, Trump again for this <laughs> this is the point by the way that they, they, they bite Israel and then they turn and they say with the President Trump apparently ignoring last week mascara why he should not why no he's not he's not ignoring it he is not ignorant and this is not a mascara those people they are doing it in a purpose somebody will say to you oh are you saying today to me they are they are they are killing themselves yes they are killing themselves they are desperate people they have no jobs they have no th nothing in life go and see how they live the whole country is useless homeless why because they are lazy they don't want to work all what they do they get married have sex have babies and the United Nations pay for their schools for their children's for their food what is what is the product is made in Gaza can somebody tell me what is the business of people who live in Gaza what they do for living they are members of Hamas and who is the one who paid the salary of Hamas the Prince of Qatar this is what they do for living and one of them, one of them, he died. The prince of Qatar, he pay his family one hundred thousand dollar. It's a business. What's wrong with you people? I am an Arab, and tomorrow I will bring a small number of my family, huh? Just few of them, maybe four hundred thousand. 500 I don't know I will see tomorrow who is not busy because if I call them all we, we can I can bring to millions and then we decide to go and prostrate in a front of uh, 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 you know uh, uh, which country it means let me choose a country to occupy uh, civilian we are civilian we are just civilian uh, what does that mean why people are you know, this is how they lie to you and they try to fool you and they try to make you believe that Israel is the one who was doing aggression. Israel is asking those Arab Muslims for peace for the last 60 years and they keep saying no. This is the truth. It is them who say no. It is them who decide and they want to throw Israel in the, in the ocean. And those donkeys, they make it upside down. So the criminal became a victim and the victim became a criminal. How many bombs, how many suicide bombers, how many stabbing happened by those civilian just last year in Israel? Stabbing, those are civilian by the way. The one who did the stabbing on the Jews in Israel they were civilian. None of them is wearing a uniform of an army. They go between the crowd and then they steal a, a, a knife and then they stab a woman or a child or a, or, a, or a soldier in his in his back. So how we will know how many knives we, they have with them? The propaganda by the left in the world is amazingly beyond the stupidity and look i am an arab i am not i am not a jew i am i am i am an arab and i say that if i am the leader of israel i would do my best to not to allow those criminals to come in those are not fifty thousand peaceful go and see what they are what, what they are doing what peaceful like they they try and even himself look this is the picture he have himself in the screen those are peaceful do you think those are peaceful? Where is the females between them? Those are members of Hamas, young men, they are coming for a fight. Do they look like peaceful for you? The propaganda is amazing. At the protest comes near the offense, families of Palestinians refugee Palestinian refugee first of all for your news Abdul <clears throat> let me call this guy Abdul even though he's not Abdul none of those are Palestinian 
There is something the world do not know, and the world is stupid, ignorant, and nobody would have noticed that those are not the Palestinian. There is no Palestinian in what is called Palestine. Those are Muslims, Arab who invade that land. If you do not know history, go and read the Muslim books. They will tell you, and they are proud about it. Oh, Omar ibn Khattab, the caliphate, he invaded that land, and before that day, that even one single person speak Arabic. Not even a single person speak Arabic. And the question is, who is the one who built Jerusalem? Oh, Jerusalem is for us. It's an Arabian city. Since when? Who is the one who built Jerusalem? Who is the one who be, you know who built all of this this land? What was the last king for the Palestinian? You remember? Who is the king of the kingdom of the Palestinian? Do you remember one? Can you call, call name for me? There was no country, no kingdom. No state is called Palestine. It is a territory. And that explained by history why it's called Palestine. And those are no Palestinians. And yes, I agree, they are refugee. They are in the land of Israel. And the stupid Israeli, they gave them Gaza. The stupid Israeli, they gave them Gaza. Gaza does not belong to those people. They should be not in Gaza. They should go to Saudi Arabia where they came from. It is the stupid Israeli they are giving out their land. And the more they give, the more those people they will ask for more. And you know, I know that the Arab who they are listening, they will accuse me that I am betraying the Arab because I'm an Arab and the Jews are our enemies. That's what we learn in school, you know, like, you know, <laughs> the first time I came to America, I saw a Jew. I never saw a Jew before. I was looking if he have a tail because in the school they taught us that Jewish they have a tail. They are monkeys and they are pigs. So I was expecting to see a monkey. I was looking. Like, what is where is the monkey in this guy? This will teach us. Go and watch. You know. You see. Go and see what Hamas did to the Palestinian. The one you call them Palestinian. They throw them from the top of the roof when you don't agree with them. What was my voice? I was protesting with those people against Israel, brother. I mean, what's what's wrong with this world? How come they don't tell us that the civilian Palestinian, as they call them Palestinian, which they are not, how many people they stab in the last six months in Israel or in the last year or the last two years or in the last three years, but yet they are civilian. So now we have 50, 50,000 coming wearing civilian clothes, but how many knives is inside the clothes? And what is going to guarantee the Israeli soldier that those are not having knives with them? And why they are going there anyway? We should expose, we should expose those donkeys who say and speak stupidity. So what Israel should do, okay, what if 50 million, 50 million Muslims decide now to go as civilian to Israel? So what Israel should do? I want your advice, Mr. Robert, the idiot of the village. Huh? What if one billion Muslim they decide to march civilian to Israel? What Israel should do? Are you a donkey or you are a donkey? I am an Arab and I support Israel for very simple reason. This is their land. This is not the land of anyone.
You don't earn a land by shouting and screaming and claiming. This is not your land. And this is not my land. This is the land of the Jews. History speaks so. Bible speaks so. Even the Quran speaks so. Even the stupid book, the Quran, speaks so. Do you want me to show you Mr. Robert McKee? If we go in the Quran, <clears throat> and we go here, <clears throat> even the Quran, you believe it, even the Quran cannot deny that this is the land of the Jews. I mean, it's amazing. Not only the Quran confirmed that this is the land of the Jews, it's confirmed that it's assigned to the Jews. What, what? Assigned. Nobody else. Ya qawm, idkhulu al-arda al-muqaddasa lati katab Allahu lakum, wa la tartaddu ala adbarikum fatanqalibu khasirin. Allah is saying to the Jews, Oh my, oh people. And now the one is speaking, supposedly Allah told Musa to say that. Go. And enter, enter how? Enter by attacking that land. <clears throat> and dev, don't ever retreat, ever, or you will be the loser. So Allah, he told the Jews, go and take it, otherwise you'll be a loser. Chapter 5, verse number 21, the translation made by the Abdul, written in the book of the Abdul, and the one is talking is the God of the Abdul. But yet the donkey, Mr. Robert McCray, Parre, Farre, is telling us that the Jews are the one who is doing aggression. Oh, my people, remember Moses, who is talking, Moses say to his people, Oh, my people, enter the holy land which Allah has assigned into you. Even in the book of donkeys, it says that this is the land of the Jews. So who are you? And not only that, the book of the donkey says that the Jews refuse to kill those who live in that land. So Allah, he cursed them. They said, O oh Moses, in this land are people of exceeding strength. Never shall we enter it until they leave, which means peacefully. They leave, we come. Moses, the Muslim Moses, don't agree. Only two good Jewish, Allah, he praised them, only two, they accept to do jihad. But among their Allah-fearing men were two whom Allah bestowed His grace. How many? Only two. Those two Jews, they want to do jihad like Hamas. Allah, so this is why Allah, He praised them like, what you, they are, those are the good guys. From all the nation of Israel, there's no good guys except those two Jews and Musas because they accept to do jihad. And they said, Assault them at the proper gate. Allah praising the ones who want to assault in those who live in that land. So let us say, let us say, in that land there is Palestinian, quote unquote. Allah saying to the Jews, go and assault the Palestinians. Kill them. Huh? And we are going to give you victory. Why you don't mention that to us, Mr. Robert? Based on this, the reason for the problem, all of it, is Allah. It is Allah who assigned this land to the Jewish, and he is the one who gave it to them, and he is the one who told them to assault whoever lived there, and he is the one who, who told them to shoot an armed, peaceful, and I'm quoting here, civilian, stupid idiot, and because the Jews, they refuse to kill those, you call them Palestinians, Allah, he cursed them and he made them lose their way for 40 years in the desert. Do you see it? <clears throat> because they refuse to use snipers, to use armed forces, the unhappy Allah, he cursed them to lose their destination for 40 years in the desert why 
because they refuse to kill that is written in the book of those people who you sponsor my friends <clears throat> I'm making this video I'm not going to speak long this is the land of the Jews and they have the right to protect their land and their existence the point of this protest is not really protest the point is to take over and to use another way of propaganda to make Israel look bad they knew the Israeli they will not let them get in they knew they are going to shoot they knew they are going to stop them but yet they do it why because all is done for the sake of propaganda to make Israel look bad don't tell me that those who you call <coughs> civilian which is members of Hamas <coughs> they are coming marching toward the borders by tens of thousands and you do not know that the Israeli soldiers will not allow them because they are doing their duty this is their duty to protect the borders they knew and they are doing it in purpose and don't tell me that the Israeli soldiers are not aware that from those 50,000 civilian as you call them there's 50,000 knives under their clothes if we go right now and search in Google for stabbing in Israel hmm? stabbing how many stab happen in Israel let me do it hold on let me do it <clears throat> all right let us see all right Just look with me. Israel is stabbed to death in the West Bank. Israeli man killed in Jerusalem, te terrorist stabbing. Israel uh, killer, killer the stabbing in attack in West Bank. And, and look at the date. Look at the date. Huh? Look at the date. This is March. March 18. Huh? March 19. February 5th. One day ago. I mean, how many how many stabbing happen and all those stabbing happen by people who they are wearing and dressing civilian clothes actually uh, there is there is some tourist who they stabbed them because they thought they are israeli too why the world is upside down and nobody want to say the truth Israeli security guard stabbed to death in Jerusalem attack stabbed by who? Not only by civilian even women they are involved But they don't want to tell you what's happening Now the Israeli are the bad one and they are the one who is doing the ugly stuff for everybody disgusting Israeli But the truth is totally the opposite You walk in the street and then a woman she come from your back and she stab you I saw a video of a, of a, a Muslim woman she is coming to an Israeli soldier asking him for direction the guy the poor guy he start telling her the direction like how to go to help her and when he is pointing his finger at the other direction looking at the street to show her where she grabbed a knife from underneath of her burqa and she started stabbing him and chasing him and they will say to you, oh, he shot a woman. You know, it's a woman. You know, you kill a woman, they kill women, my brother. They kill a woman. I made a video many years ago. It's called The Beauty of Hamas and the Ugliness of Israel. And the video have like a couple of hundred of thousands of viewers in less than a few hours. In that video, I show you how those people, they use even children's to do suicide bombing. They are the one who don't respect a human being life but yet 
when the Israeli defend themselves. When the last time the Israeli they send someone to stab somebody in Gaza? When the last time the Israeli they send somebody, a woman, to stab a Hamas member in Gaza? The Israeli army, even when they want to fight terrorists, you believe it or not, they send text messages to everybody live around the house of the terrorist. And after that, they make an, a warning shot, warning shot to tell you now we are going to attack this, this location. So people, civilian, get away. And then after that, they hit the target and they hit it in a perfect way to the point no other building will be destroyed except the terrorist building. Everything in this earth is upside down. The criminal is a victim and the victim is a criminal. This is how stupid our community become and this is how stupid our media is. And I am an Arab and I say to you that the Israeli have the right to defend their land and to defend their existence. There is no peace resolution as some stupid they keep saying to you. What did Trump he say to you about peace? That peace will never happen. Whoever says to you there is going to be peace between the Muslims and Israel, he is a stupid idiot. He is ignoring history, he is ignoring the religion. Muhammad he said, Time will come. Time will come. And the Muslim will kill all the Jews. And if a Muslim, if a Jew, sorry. If a Jew hide behind a tree or a rock, the tree will say, there is a Jew behind me, kill him. That is the truth. How you can how you can have peace with Muslims that you should not have peace with the Jews and judgment they will never come unless you kill them all so the Muslims now they have a duty they believe they have to kill every Jew let me show you this hadith read with me this is not an article written by a media guy from the donkeys magazine this is the prophet of Islam, the most holy man who they worship him more than their God. Allah said, the hour will not be established until you fight the Jews. What peace? And the stone behind, the stone, even the stones and the trees are involved in this fight. And the stones behind, which as Jew will be hiding, will say, Oh, Muslims, there is a Jew behind me, hiding behind me, so kill him. Who is the bad? Have you ever heard the Jews saying, Oh, Jews, there is a Muslim behind me, kill him? The hate is not about land, and this is the land of the Jews. All the hate is about one thing it's about religion those people are jews and because they are jews muslim believe they have to kill them all the same as they want to kill all the christians too and all the hindus and all the buddhas and all the atheists and all the gays and all the lesbian and if this guy mr robert he go and live in gaza they will treat him like a dog for he is not a muslim Again, I am an Arab and I say Israel belong to the Jews. With this, I want to say thank you for listening. Feel free to download my videos and share it with your friends. And if you want to contact me, as you see, the link is appearing in the screen. This is my contact. God bless you all. And may the Lord protect those who do the right thing and those who don't promote hate and killing. And those who stand against someone like Muhammad who say, Oh, Muslims, there is a Jew hiding behind me. Kill him. Why? Why you want to kill the Jews? 
This is a hate crime. This is the true mascara. How many Jews Muhammad he killed? He slaughtered them. When they put their down with a weapon, he slaughtered 900 of them in two hours. Even after they put down their weapon. That is the truth. Download the video and share it with your friends. And may the Lord bless you all. We will see you again at 4.30 p.m. today. So be with us. And may the Lord have mercy on the stupid ones who they don't want to see the truth and open their eyes. Thank you very much. And see you in a few hours again. And we will continue doing what we do best. God bless you.